know when you're ready. I'm on it. Ready? You start? Alright. I'm starting my seat belt. So exactly as it is, right? Yep. It extends and retracts. Latches. Unlatches. Not cut, torn, or frayed. I'm going to keep it on. I'm going to check my mirrors and make sure they're adjusted to my view. My windshield, it's not cracked or broken. There's no illegal stickers or obstructions. Now I'm going to perform a safe start. First thing I'm going to do is put my key on the on position and wait for my ABS light to come on and then go off. Okay, my ABS light is off. Make sure my gear is neutral, my brakes are set, and my clutch is all the way to the floor. When I start my vehicle, my oil pressure gauge should rise within five seconds. If it does not, I'll shut it off to prevent damage. I'll keep my hand on the key. Okay, my oil pressure has begun to rise. Put my lights on, all my dash lights are working properly. My water gauge has risen to the proper levels. My voltmeter is at the proper levels of 12 to 15 volts. And my air gauges are both between 120 and 125 PSI. My left indicator is working. My right indicator is working. My four-way indicator is working, as well as my high beam indicator is working. My wipers are working. They're not cut, torn, or frayed. They're securely mounted. And also, the washer fluid is working properly as well. City horn's working. Air horn is working. My defrost is working. My floor heater is working. Okay, so now I'm going to pre perform my tug test. I'm going to put my truck in low gear. I release my trailer brake and tug against my tractor brakes to make sure they're working. You'll feel a slight tug. Okay? Tractor brakes are working properly. So now I'm going to release the tra tractor brakes and tug against my trailer brakes to make sure they're working properly. You'll feel a slight tug. Okay? Trailer brakes are working properly. So now I'm going to do a service brake test. I'm going to pull forward three to five feet and use my service brake. And make sure it's working properly. My steering wheel should not move to the right or the left. Okay, the service brake's working properly. Put my key back on the on position. Now I'm going to go into an air leak test. I'm going to apply firm pressure to my service brake, and I should not lose more than 4 psi in one minute. Would you like to time me? Go ahead. That's one. Okay. It's good? All right. Did not lose more than 4 PSI. So now I'm going to go into my first fan down. I'm going to fan down my brakes, and at 60 PSI or above, my warning light and buzzer should sound. Come on. Both my warning lights and the buzzer have come on, so that's working properly. Now I'm going to fan down my brakes again. Between 20 and 45 PSI, my emergency spring brake should pop out. Okay, both my emergency spring brakes did pop out. That's the end of my in-cab inspection. Could you please exit the vehicle to the front and check my lights? Up there, you'll check my left turn signal, right turn signal, four ways, my low beams, my high beams, my clearance lights, my marker lights, then step to the to the back of the vehicle. In the position you can see the back and side of the trailer, the back and side of the truck, and back there you'll check my clearance lights, my tail lights, my brake lights, my marker lights, my left signal, my right signal, and my four ways. 